wow, I'm actually surprised for how cheap this grip is. It feels so good. Hey what's up guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be buying and trying the world's cheapest controller attachment. So basically, like my world's most expensive controller video, I jumped on their website and showed myself customizing the controller. So today we're gonna to be doing the same thing, but this time I'm gonna be going on Amazon and searching for the world's cheapest controller attachment. Then I'll try it out in a few days when it arrives. But just before the video starts, if we could try and aim for 50,000 likes on this video, that'd be awesome. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more more videos just like this. Anyway, my name is Flea and let's get right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on the old Amazon. Amazon. All right, so now that we're on Amazon, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type in PS4 and press enter. But basically, I'm gonna go up to the sort by section and do low to high. So basically, it's gonna start from the cheapest products and go down. So straight up, the cheapest thing you can buy is this rubber case for your controller, and it looks like it's a $1.59. Judging by the photos, this looks very interesting. This might be something I try for a different video because today I'm looking for something a bit more practical. So let's keep scrolling down here. So this is kind of what I'm after. So it's it looks like it's got um it looks like little grips for your thumbsticks. Now these are only $3.94. So it looks like they come in a four pack and you just put them on your controller thumbsticks. So this is pretty cool right here. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I'm just gonna keep scrolling down. So as you can see there's a lot of these really really cheap thumbsticks. So I think today we're gonna be getting some cheap thumbsticks but I want to get them in like a package. Okay now here's what we're looking for. So something like this that has like high rise, low rise thumbsticks and they're really cheap. So this is $6 and it comes with like a whole bunch of thumbsticks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is this is more like what I want. Definitely going to be putting that one over in the maybe pile as well. Let's see what else I can shop for. Oh, okay, this is, okay, this is what I'm looking for. So it comes with a controller grip as well as thumbsticks and it's only $9. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So this is only an extra $3 than the thumbsticks and it actually comes with a controller grip as well. So I'm um, not gonna lie, this is, whoa, getting the angles there. This looks like a pretty good package. It comes with the grip and the thumbsticks. I'm actually pretty happy with this product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and I'm not a fan of the bright colors. So I'm just gonna grab the color black. All right, so I just found this one. It is $10 and if I get it express, it should be here within a few days. So yeah, I'm gonna order this express shipping and I'll see you guys in a few days. All right, so it's been a few days, two or three days, I can't remember, but let's go ahead and open this thing up. Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the grips and the thumbsticks. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it's just in really super cheap packaging. This is kind of what you get for $10. And oh, okay, so here are the thumbsticks in the Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna put them to the side. And here is the grip. Yeah, it just feels like rubber. It's got a really grippy part at the front, like really bumpy. I'll just get a better angle on that. So you can kind of see that it's really dotty. Not sure if I'm gonna be a huge fan of the grips and the thumbsticks, but that's why I got them in a package so I could try both. And I'm gonna go ahead straight away and put this on my control. Okay, so how stretchy is this? It's really stretchy, so I should just be able to put it on. Put that around the triggers, I think, maybe. I'm gonna put the other side in. So this, is, this is actually really, really easy to get on because it's so stretchy. That around the analog stick and that around the analog stick, that around the triggers. So I think that grip is pretty much on. All right, and the grip is on. So, wow, I'm actually surprised for how cheap this grip is. It feels so good. Yeah, wow, that actually... That really does feel like a lot better than just holding a normal PS4 controller. I would have liked it a lot more if these dots were actually on the back as well, because as you can see on the back, it's only got these little lines. But all in all, man, I'm actually pretty impressed for like probably what, what was this, like $4? It's actually really cool. But now it's time to try the cheapest thumbsticks. So I'm pretty sure you could get these in a pack for I think $5. So we'll start off with two convex thumbsticks, and then you've got two mini concave thumbsticks. Thumbsticks. Then you have two large 
convex thumbsticks and two large concave thumbsticks. So all together, this is what you get. And if I just shine my phone light on it, you'll be able to see the grip a little more. So these are the concave ones. These are the convex. And then you've got the smaller versions of each. Pretty cool in my opinion. Let's go ahead and put these on the controller and try them out. All right, and the first one is on. So testing the grip. Yeah, wow. Okay, so one thing I've noticed straight away is you can't use this case with this thumbstick. But when you have this rubber grip with the rubber thumbstick, it actually rubs together and makes the movements like really slow. Let me just zoom in here. It's actually pushing against the rubber on the outside. So you definitely don't want that. Regardless though, the grip on the convex thumbsticks actually feels really good. Like it is really grippy. I'm just going to take that off and try the next one. But all in all, they do actually feel like pretty good. I'm actually really surprised. I definitely prefer the grip a lot more on the convex thumbsticks because it is a lot grippier versus this one. It's a lot smoother. So here's just a quick size comparison for how much bigger the uh, high rise thumbsticks are. All right. And it is on there. And wow. Okay. That feels, it's a bit slippery. Definitely not as good a grip as control freaks. Yeah. So the rubber on this thumbsticks is definitely a lot more slippery. As you can see, my thumb kind of slides right off it. Whereas if I grab my actual control freaks, my thumb doesn't slide at all. So the the rubber they use on control freaks is definitely a lot more grippy. I'm just going to put on the last one here and then we're going to jump in Fortnite and try these out. All right, and here we are. It's on there. And yeah, okay. Yeah, this is way more slippery than the other one. Yeah, I definitely don't like this at all. It almost has no grip. I much prefer the high rise of this one with the, all the dots because it's a lot more grippy. But yeah, man, that was just a super quick unboxing of this really, really cheap controller attachment. So what do you say we jump in Fortnite and see what these things really feel like. All right, so here we are on Fortnite, all set up, ready to go. As you can see, I have the grip on the PS4 controller. Like I said earlier, this grip with extended thumbsticks, it actually rubs against the rubber and gives a weird feeling when you're in full lock. And I also tried it with control freaks and the same thing happens. So if I just try and show you real quick, you can kind of see the control freak stick actually rubbing against the rubber and it makes the analog stick feel really squishy and weird. So this grip, although it's not bad, it's definitely not for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this controller grip off and in this video we're just going to focus on the thumbsticks so what i'm going to be doing is grabbing the ps4 controller that i currently use take off the control freak and i'm going to put on one of these little rubber grips so i'm going to start with the convex high rise the ones with the dots that is really extended and just going to put that on there and i'm just going to put a little grippy one on the left thumbstick as well and there we are so this is going to be my loadout for today so i've got the two thumbsticks on top and let's try it out in creative and do some 1v1 all right, so here we are just loaded into creative. Let's go ahead and try these things out. So as you can see, they're not hindering me whatsoever. In fact, they are a lot better than just the default analog sticks with nothing on them. I actually really like them. They're not quite good as control freaks. I feel like the rubber they use is very slippery. So as soon as your hands get sweaty, they start sliding across the rubber. For some reason with control freaks, they don't. But yeah, it's definitely playable. Let's try it out in some 1v1s. All right, let's do this. Oh. oh how to finish him off. <laughs> Let's go. I'm really, really liking these uh, analog sticks. They're not as good as control freaks, but for like $5, it's actually pretty insane. doing that.
That was sloppy, but we got there. Grips are too slippery, I had to wipe my hands. Got a bit glitchy there in the yellow builds, but that was pretty cool. Oh yes, I'll take that. Alright, so I'm going to end the 1v1s there. In conclusion, I actually really like them like a lot more than what I would have expected. But with that being said, I still do prefer the Control Freak Galaxy on the right stick a lot more. But I might actually keep this little grippy one on the left stick. Because as you can see, it actually gives the left stick a bit of grip. Whereas if I take it off, there's no grip on it and it's a lot more slippery. So I do actually like the dotted grip. I might actually use it. So yeah, I think this is going to be my go-to setup from now on. So one galaxy and one of these little spiky ones so in that case i actually really recommend just getting a small one for the left stick and then rocking a control freak for the right but if you did make it to the end of the video drop a fire emoji in the comments so i know you did thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one